and sparkle and shine, wild ones. It's Bernadette. I'm here with your Pick a Card Tarot reading for New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2020. And when I drew this card, I ran to my closet and I had to put on my sparkly pentacles t-shirt. You know, people in the muggle world think these are stars, but you and I know that they're pentacles. And so I, um, I, I just, I, let me just show you the card. It's the eight of pentacles. It's the giraffe. I couldn't even believe when this card showed up because it's the perfect card for New Year's Eve. You know, we've talked about this um, really most of the week, how not to throw the baby out with the bathwater and don't just be so focused on, you know, that clock striking midnight, you Cinderella. Um, you know, tonight, December 31st, and, and rolling over and like you're going to wake up and, you know, January 2021 is going to be a brand new day. It is going to be a brand new day. Yes, it is. But that doesn't mean that all of 2020 was a wash. There have been miraculous things that happened in 2020. And I'll bet if you sat for a minute and thought about it tonight, when you're doing your New Year's Eve rituals or your, you know, your, um, you know, your, your fires or your circles or, you know, heck, your toasts or whatever you're doing, you'll find really beautiful uh, golden, platinum, and silver nuggets in all of that. And of course, you know, we're also like, stoked and 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 all and, and really what's happening is <laughs> this cracks me up of course 2021 is going to be so much better you know why because the collective people all around the world are so hyper focused that 2021 at the very least has got to be better than 2020 and at the very most they're like well hell's bells anything can happen now which is awesome because that's the only thing that ever keeps people from achieving what they want to achieve is they don't believe anything can happen now, but with the right attitude, with the right perspective, right? Of course, anything can happen now. Well, we can get to be so busy making our plans and living our dreams or, well, dreaming our dreams, we forget. Dreams only, you, you, you can breathe a dream into existence, but you can't birth it into existence, until you've got the page of, you've got the eight of pentacles, not the page, but the eight of pentacles with you, because that is about rolling up your shirt sleeves and making it happen. Whether it's money, it's a relationship, it's your internal work, whatever you want. When you take a look at the traditional Rider Waite um, tarot card for the, um, uh, for the eight of pentacles, in those tarot card meanings, what you're going to see is you're going to see this old boy sitting down there, whack, 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 making his coins. But those coins are starting to pile up. They're starting to add up, right? So the this when you hearken back to the Four of Pentacles, um, that apron on that person was a cloak that symbolized your obsession with the, the material things. In Five, that cloak blew up into a major existential crisis, and it engulfed you... <laughs> like a raging blizzard at night. But now as we've transcended, we've gotten to the eight of pentacles and that sense of responsibility that you have, maybe it still is all about money, but now you're gonna, again, you're gonna roll up your shirt sleeves and you're gonna get to work. And whatever turmoil that has like unseated you in the past, you, you don't have that anymore. As we cruise into 2021, you're comfortable and you're productive and you're you know, maybe you've taken a, another look at, well, I thought I was a responsible person, but what does personal responsibility really mean? What does that really mean? And so many of us have grown up in environments, you know, I grew up in a, we were poor. I mean, po, right? Like we couldn't even afford the extra OR and poor to be poor. We was just po. So we had to make do with what we had. And, you know, necessity really is the mother of invention, no joke. But what that taught me, you know, now... I didn't grow up in another country where I ate dirt for dinner and I lived in, you know, between two sticks and some leaves. I didn't grow up that way. Not that there's anything wrong with growing up that way. Certainly, there are some people in this country that could do well by having to spend a little bit of time in some place like that, right? But, but Poe is Poe. And so what we soon realized or what I realized very quick, very early on as a kid that if I wanted it, I had to go out and grow it. I had to make it happen. And... That, you know, that takes a lot of ingenuity. It takes a lot of being hard-headed and relentless. But the bottom line is that I was willing to do the work. And so 
being the kind of growing up in the kind of family that we had to plan ahead, right? Like we we could only afford the gas to go to the store because we lived thirty in the, no joke thirty miles in the country, outside of the city, any city that had a grocery store. And let's be clear, back then it was Piggly Wiggly, and then it transformed. We thought it was big deals when it came. It was going to be Win Dixie. Woo, Lord, we're moving on up, moving on up to Win Dixie. So. Um, we, we could only afford the gas to go in once a month. So we load my mom's station wagon up. Yes, a station wagon with wood side panels. It was like that. And, um, and you know what? I got, <laughs> I got to tell you this story because now you'll understand how poor I grew up. So it was big goings on when we got a washing machine that couldn't go in the trailer because the trailer that we lived in was this big and it couldn't go in there. There was no room. Plus it would have shook that thing. You know, it would have busted apart that tin can. So we put it in a shed right beside the trailer and uh, it, it, it only had cold water and it was cold well water at that. And we couldn't afford a dryer. So my grandma or my mom would take, or me or my sister, we'd take the clothes out on, on the clothesline and we'd pin them up with clothespins. That was the best smell of laundry you ever thought, but it was the hardest thing. Your jeans would be like stiff boards, right? Because there was no softener in them. There's no softener in the water anyway. So this, this particular weekend, it was our go, go grocery shopping day. And uh, <laughs> my grandma uh, had forgotten to do the underwear. And nothing, we were not going to be in our clothes without our underwear. Good, good girls did not do that. So she was like, look, I, I'm going to solve the problem. So she goes out and she does a load of underwear. And then, <laughs> oh, telling all my family dirty secrets. Well, they weren't dirty anymore. They got washed. But she had us hang our underwear Outside, outside the station wagon window so it would dry on the, on the way to Donnell in Florida so we could get our groceries. And if anything should happen, we would be wearing underwear when they came and scraped us up off the side of the road. So ah, my sister and I still, tears rolled down our eyes, but no joke. And when we would see another car coming, she'd go, take them in. And we'd snatch our underwear in and she'd go, okay, put them out. And we'd put our underwear out the window and dang if those things, because it was a half an hour to town, dang if those things weren't dry. Anyway. And God knows what road grit was on them, but we had underwear. Okay, so what the, the underwear out the window story really is all about is if you want something even as simple as your underwear to be dry and you don't have a dryer, there's always a way to dry your underwear. Now, I kind of take pride in that now, and that's a lot what this card about is taking pride in your work. Should you be proud of what you've done? You're darn skippy. Because it doesn't matter if you've come from a privileged background or a non-privileged background or another country and privilege not, it, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is that you take personal responsibility for what you want to build. And that's why so many people spun sideways and every which kind of way during this 2020 thing, they were not prepared to take the personal responsibility. Was it hard? Yes, it was hard. Of course it was hard. But... What's the other option? Laying down in the street and going, I can't. You know, these days somebody will scrape you up, mostly. But I don't know moving into 2020 with this crazy errant hair I have over here. But I don't know moving into 2021 if people are going to have time to scrape you up off the street. They may be too busy doing it for themselves, right? Because this is going to be a big year. Because, hearkening back, We've done so much breathing into existence how great 2021 is going to be because it can't, we cannot have it be 2020. I believe it's going to be like a showstopper because so many people around the world have focused so intently on it. So take advantage of this time, for goodness sake, and be this guy. Be the little page of pentacles, ding, or why do I keep saying page of pentacles? Eight of pentacles guy, ding, 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 whatever you're going to build. And know that you are... Um, you're going to be really great at paying attention to the detail. You know, when you look at the pillar on the right side of the Eight of Pentacles and the castle on the left, it's it's like you've got this really great blend of intuition, but, um, oh, but logical and rational. You know, that aspect is in your mind also. And when you look at the expression um, on his face, it, it symbolizes you just not getting involved in the drama of others. And my God. Gosh, have I seen that. I have so many people, so many people this past year call me and go, I just can't hang with the drama. I can't hang with the drama. I believe a lot of that has to do with so many of us had to work at home. I mean, I've been working at home for, gosh, 13 or 14 years now. 
but so many people had to spend time alone. They, they, they got a vision of what it's like not to deal with the chaos and the drama that constantly surrounds them. So they, they kind of de they, they deacclimated to it. And the thought of going back where there's all that frenetic that means nothing and is such a waste of everybody's time, such a waste, um, that they don't want to. And so they shouldn't. And you shouldn't. And a lot of people that were catalysts of that don't listen. Don't think because I work in the metaphysical industry that everybody I work with is all enlightened and they don't gossip and they don't backbite and they don't whatever because they do. And, uh, you know, I just stay in my own little house, clackety, clickety, clickety, clackety, doing what I do. Because I, I, I worked in Hollywood. I had 55 lifetimes of that baloney nonsense. And I, you know, I, I wish I knew then what I knew today, it, which is even if it's like not great energy to put in the universe, it's just such a big fat waste of time. And I have always hated anything that was a waste of time. Always. Little did I know. I was the one wasting time. I don't do that nonsense anymore. My life's so much better for it. Yes, it is. So, uh, and I'm certain that my friends appreciate it. So, all that said, what all of this has to do with giraffe is, so giraffe wanted to be um, the eight of pentacles because when you look at his long neck and you look at the spots, they could very easily look like pentacles and they certainly can look like the coins and they've got that delicious goldy orangey color and his, you know, that neck is very much like the tree where the pentacles are adding up, adding up, adding up. And, um, and so just from a physical standpoint, pentacles, I really associate giraffes with pentacles for sure. And in particular, this with the eight of pentacles. Now, also, when you take a look at the um, spirit tone and power animal meaning of giraffe, you'll, you know, they're all about seeing the big picture because they can look over trees, they can see for a couple miles. And the page, gosh, why do I keep saying the page of pentacles? Y'all, do me a favor, look up the page of pentacles today because that's got to have something about going into the new year tomorrow. It's got to have something. And by the way, you're going to see me wearing the same shirt and hair and everything tomorrow because I'm filming, um, I'm filming New Year's Day video right after I filmed this one. It's very different. Uh, I'm leading off with the overview card of January, um, whatever that works out to be. And uh, then I'm going to do the spirit animal scopes, um, go through them one at a time so that as you start off the new year, the new month, each month I'm going to do that on the first. I'll pull a card for, for that month and then also go through each of the zodiac signs and what you know, what your spirit animal is and a little bit about your uh, astrology and your horoscope and all that kind of thing. I, I think you'll really like it. At least I hope you'll really like it. You'll let me know in the comments. But going back to, um, uh, going back to giraffe, it, you know, they are kind of gangly when they're running, but they get to where they want to go and they get there a lot faster because the reach of their legs is much, is much, much, much greater now, you know, can they outrun a lion? Probably not. Um, but man, again, they get to where they want to go. And their necks can go 18 feet in the air. 18 feet. And so that's always a call to see the big picture, rise above the earthly matters. Um, you see the big picture, but you stay grounded because giraffe is an earth animal. And again, that's everything having to do with the Eight of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're seeing, you know, you're having downloads, the intuition is working, but you're firmly planted on the ground and you're doing the work, doing the work. And, you know, another thing that I love, 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 this is my favorite. So I want, not, not just me, the ARC, the animals, you know, the animal allies, and certainly for all of you that have been supportive, it's your win as well. But, you know, as, as I've mentioned, hopefully not ad nauseum and only a couple of times before, the Arc Tarot and Oracle deck just swept uh, the major awards this year. Just swept, made history. It, it's a long, it, it's a thing. And as many people as there are to congratulate you and be proud and happy for you and proud and happy they were part of the story, there's another faction of people out there that are like, why can't I do that? Why can't fee 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 And they got, you know, and I only know this because I have some friends that feel compelled to tell me when people gossip. Okay. Okay. And, and, and in their minds, they're really trying to help me, you know, keep your enemies closer. I totally get that. And in the appropriate moments, yes, I'm very happy to keep my enemies closer. It's a smart business move. But 
I will tell you that for the first year in my whole life, my whole life, I haven't cared one iota about the haters. Not one iota. Last year it was a little bit that I cared. The year before it was a little bit more. The year before it was a little bit more. But honestly, it, it is an organic thing. I don't care. I just don't care. I'm so busy and so focused on what I'm creating and birthing into the world next, what I'm dreaming into the world next. I don't have one second to spend on it. I almost died last year. I may not have, I don't know how many more seconds I have. I, even if that hadn't happened, does anybody know how many more seconds they have? Maybe you do. I don't, not with any assurity. Um, I, I just don't have the time. And so if you're going through anything or you went through it this year or you might start to be going through it, you know, here come the first of the year and you're going through some kind of, you know, hater, like you're a hater target, hold your head high and don't pay one iota of attention to them. Now, if they're pointing out something that you'd like to like to morph or change or make better or whatever, OK, excellent. Do it. But don't don't spend one minute on the haters. And giraffe is an in just a fantastic help me to help you just blow those people to the side. And the other thing that I will tell you is, here's how powerful that lesson is. You know, giraffes, their kick, oh my gosh, it's like having a speeding freight train come at you. So every, every living thing is vulnerable to something, but if you have a giraffe standing up and fighting, and it hits you with one of its legs and those hooves, you're over, lights out, you're done. So a giraffe is the most vulnerable when their head is down to drink. Now they've got to have it, it's life sustaining, but they have to put their legs out so far and they've got to lower that head so much. Something can knock them off center or go for their throat like that. Terrible, I know. Again, I dream of a world where, where one thing doesn't have to consume another thing to stay alive, okay? but. That's the reality we live in right now, or at least the hologram we live in right now. And so there might be something you have to put your head down to get that is life sustaining, but don't keep your head down too long because you're vulnerable when your head is down. When you're hanging your head, you're vulnerable. There's no reason for that. You lift that head up and me and my big old double chin, my waddle like my mom had. I'm thinking about plastic surgery, you guys. Weigh in in the comments. I'm like, should I get a nip tuck? I think I should. Um, so I, uh, d don't, don't let anybody have, don't let yourself have your head down for too long. It makes you very vulnerable. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to go do the spirit animal scopes. I can't wait to do that for you guys. Oh man. I just hope it's so helpful. Um, and I just love you. And as, as the year comes to a close, I just really want to say you guys have made my year. You've been the big gift in my life and me and the animal allies just appreciate you so, 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 so much. I hope that your evening is just filled with just so much magic and do something sacred for yourself. You know, even if you've got to slip away into a closet, and light one, you know, one little piece of sage or one little piece of incense or kiss a crystal or I don't even know. I don't know. But I will be toasting to you this evening. Oh, yes, I will. And um, and uh, I won't see you tomorrow, but I will see you tomorrow because the spirit animal scopes will be there. And again, I just thank you. And my biggest wish when you do your prayers and your mantras, somewhere in there, please pledge to yourself that you're going to do what in 2021? You know it. Stay wild! Stay wild.